Hi, I'm Wolf Weigo, co-founder of CAP7. And lately we've had a lot of people asking for drills and things they can do on their own to get better while their teams aren't training. A lot of clubs aren't training right now, pretty much every club. So a lot of people are trying to get in their community pools, trying to watch videos online, and we just wanted to help you out with that. We have some great videos on our website and you can watch and learn a lot of new fundamental techniques, things that you can work on on your own or with one or two siblings or a parent can help you out. So we're gonna do some videos in the pool today and you guys can watch some of those and learn, but also check out our, our video library at cap7.com. My club can't practice anymore, but I'm getting lots of drills in at my community pool. In this first drill, we're gonna start with a jump steal. We have an egg beater kick transition to a strong breaststroke kick keeping both hands out of the water at all times. Here we're gonna add on another strong leg movement, a 360 spin after the first jump steal. Again, keeping our hands out of the water the whole time and recovering back to an egg beater. Good. All right, let's do some back scaling. Hips up, ready to go. When we're back scaling, we wanna keep our hips and legs on the surface and keep our body in a straight line, really relying on our sculling to propel us backwards. Okay, we're like this, and we jump up, and look at our hand as we jump up. Yeah, we're gonna try to do a kick a little faster, and then pause for a second, and let your arms bring your knees up, and do a breaststroke kick. Right. When doing these jumps, always keep your eyes focused on your hand as it jumps up, so that when you steal or tip the ball, you know what's going on. This drill can be done individually or with a partner. The main concept is to lock up high and make a strong move around the player using your off hand to control their body, swiveling your body around. You're gonna do one strong breaststroke kick to the side and one strong breaststroke kick back in. Let's take a look with a different angle. You can see the two strong breaststroke kicks from this angle. Locking up high, one strong breaststroke kick, and then a second one recovering to a full position. In this move here, we're gonna do the opposite way around the defender, locking up high, keeping the ball wide away from the defender, making a strong power move to inside water, then resetting. Again, this drill can be done alone or with a partner. Let's take a look at this move in a game setting free yourself open for a nice shot and goal. In this clip, the player tries to go left, defender stops, and they make that second power move to the right. A couple quick strokes and again a goal. Here's that same move. You can see the player using their offhand to grab leverage on the body, not above water and not committing an offensive foul, but to be able to make like a judo move to use their body to pull around and get inside water. This is a great leg and ball handling drill where you're tapping the ball back and forth, adjusting the height and distance from your body while moving the ball quickly on your fingertips. Here we're gonna be on our side, keeping our body flat and long, throwing the ball up and catching it while moving forward. In this drill, we're working on going from horizontal to a vertical position. We'll start dribbling the ball every three strokes, a nice hand transfer, coming into a vertical position, picking the ball up and slamming it down. Have fun with these drills. We'll have more for you tomorrow.